Hey, 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 everybody, it's with Profshop, and we're back again with another casual geographic video. Why these fish belong in a horror movie more than sharks? Oh, brother, let's check out the fish. How creepy are they gonna be? The hell is it? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, is that a catfish? Okay, why bites? Why does fish have better teeth than me, brother? And creepy eyes. Okay, they're... The you know, the greatest trick Hollywood ever pulled was convincing the world that sharks are the only things to fear in the water. Bro, first they're... off, you don't gotta convince me to fear the water. If the ocean exists, I fear it. I can barely swim, and everything inside of it's monsters. kicked. In the last video, we talked about how sharks might just be the most misunderstood creatures in nature. With a PR I mean, team that works about as hard as a- Listen, they might be misunderstood. I ain't getting near a fucking shark, White okay? Brain after six rounds Hell of CTE. Nah. They've been done so dirty, they've actually overshadowed the other ichthyological is... insanities of CTE. They've been done so dirty, what they've actually overshadowed- that? That's not a real thing. No, brother. The other ichthyological That's insanity missing. spawned from Satan's septic tank. These are seven fish that should seven honestly terrify fish. you more than any all shark. Right, this right. isn't really to substitute one fear for another, but I do think these fish could make a much more traumatizing, nightmare-inducing horror flick. Bro, that looks like the Ben 10 uh, fish. Than Jaws. And it starts fish. right here. Fish mouth, Those fish eyes face. belong to a pair of arapaimas, also known Arapaimas? As Arapaimas? You've definitely seen them before. Am Does I? this video ring a bell? No. It definitely oh. rang his. It's one what? of the biggest freshwater middle Wait. fingers nature forgot to vault. What the fuck just happened there? What was that? Usually growing to over six feet long and 200 okay. something. I'm gonna be honest with you, that does not look scary. That fish does not look scary at all. Pounds. It's bad oh, enough bad. those That's are big. NBA point guard measurements, but <laughs> the beefiest ones can get to 10 feet in length and weigh over what? 400 pounds. This Jurassic Roid guppy usually eats other fish to go with fruits and seeds. Oh, but also cute, birds kinda. and allegedly even monkeys birds? sitting on branches too close to water. And if you don't believe that, it's because you haven't seen them hunt. Yeah, we have. They're haven't. explosively quick and the aquatic black hole has been known to confuse feet for fish and violently pull people underwater. Dang. One zookeeper reportedly made the mistake of trying to retrieve a glove that had fallen into an aerophyma pool and in a split second got his hand, wrist, and several fingers broken. There's Bro also the fact that a refrigerator It broke his hand and wrist and fingers. What? Precise fish the will eat people. themselves out of and water fish. in self-defense. And let's talk about that defense. The plus size oh, pipe covered in Do heavily it. armored scales, not only tough Reaching. enough to tank piranha attacks, locals like historically use them as nail files. They've nail also used files? their tongues as scrapers, since these fish have teeth growing out of a bony tongue that can be used to effectively crush struggling prey against the roof of their mouths. You Damn. know nature got in this bag when it made a fish that can breathe air, and the Antichrist of the Amazon has a modified swim bladder that was repurposed as lungs, meaning this flex of a fish can survive 24 hours out of water. On one hand, that means they have I mean, to come up for air. But listen, it can survive 24 hours, but can it do anything? On the outside now, nah, right? Or suffer it's a the fish. eternal shame of being a fish that finds So just don't go in the water. But it also works out for them because in low oxygen water where most fish become slow and sluggish, they the don't. air merchant menace can Bro, pretty much go Listen, in. this model actually looks dope as hell though. Slow. Look at that red on the black that looks awesome. Sluggish, the air merchant menace can pretty much go on a killing streak. Now the question is, oh, an shit. Arapaima pack oh, of a person. While there's damn. no indication they see it pushed him like two meters. He us as a snack. There are old oh, stories man. of high strung assault guppies effectively drowning people. Damn. Likely Strong by knocking boy. them unconscious and leaving them incapacitated underwater. Not him, he's fine. You can unclench guidelines, he's good. He's but good. one man that almost wasn't was Jeremy Wade. He Jeremy needs Wade. No introduction, but long story short, okay. he's why is he in the water with these uh, head butting monsters? The zoologist who hosted the show River Monsters, which ended, but only hey, because seen he caught every fish shows. nature had to offer. But he almost caught an early life retirement after a pissed off <laughs> Pima struck him square in the chest this and nearly crazy. caused irreversible damage to episodes. his heart. Not only did this fish nearly have a singing, damn, respect down. The suspect wasn't more than 90 pounds. Oh, look at that red on it. That's so Remember, dope. the overachievers can press the scales at 400 or, you know, 180 kilograms worth of kilometers. So yeah, the Arapaim is a shack-sized, air-breathing, armor-plated predatory vacuum. It's fast. Strangely enough, it's not the fish I'm most scared of in the Amazon. Oh, but we'll I get mean, to that. Listen, the Amazon's wild. Yeah. The yeah, piranha crazy stuff actually yeah. isn't. If you remember what? from an earlier video, piranhas might be just as misunderstood as sharks. Right, they're maybe. mostly just scavenging opportunities yeah, we'll that our childhood convinced us were way more of an issue. You cannot say the same for their cousins found in the Congo cousins. Basin of Central Africa. The Goliath tigerfish can grow to nearly five feet long. Okay, bro, you don't gotta convince me of shit. Look at that. Look at it, it has nails for teeth. 
Oh, yeah. Over 100 pounds. I'm not there going into Hawaii. There were people who were told are times 10. They're in the oh, same order. Where no. piranhas are primarily a swimming oh, cleanup man. crew, tigerfish actively hunt for their bodies. Yeah, I can and see you'll that. find out, nature built this prehistoric oh, problem no. to do exactly that. They have sharp, dagger-like teeth that many swear are comparable to that of a great white. Oh. Although I personally see them as more conical, like a crocodile. Which is a coincidence since the saltwater variety are their only natural predators. Oh. But of course, the swimming expedition has also big. been known to murk smaller crocs. They have eerily okay, strong eyesight big. to track prey, special organs to detect the vibrations they make underwater, and they're strong enough to brute force their way through the turbulent Damn. waters of their hunting grounds. They're considered one of the toughest freshwater fish oh. time left behind. Oh. Tigerfish are even on record. So oh, that guy's lucky to not bite his jugular. Catching birds out of the air. Not just birds, but Damn. swallows. Some of the fastest and most maneuverable swallows? out there. Scientists studying them I'll watched as swallow. 300 birds got permanently grounded by tigerfish. say that shit. <laughs> in just over two weeks. They're so feared that in many places, they're only known by one name, My Benga. Boy. Yeah, Meaning as I said, that dude's a maniac. You see how he's holding that? He's like, hey, look at this cute little thing. Meanwhile, it's like... <laughs> the like, dangerous bro. fish. There's even a story of a young girl My wearing Benga. a belt made out of bottle caps in order to ward off evil spirits. Ironically, it did bottle the exact cord? opposite and attracted a tiger <laughs> fish who apparently confused the bottle caps for fish scales oh. and nearly bisected the girl. Bisected? It. It's an extremely fast, explosive vice grip with almost zero That's like right in the middle. And I'd still bite. rather take a bite from them Two. than the fish up next. And that's because next is the Kandiru. Can and a lot of y'all already know what Okay, we're... that looks cute though. That looks cute. What do you mean? But we're going down. The Kandiru is a tiny parasite oh, in the Amazon, okay. also nicknamed you the could have left it as parasite. Parasite scare. Vampire fish for their habit of invading oh, the gains of larger fish ones. and scraping the insides to feed off their blood. And with backward facing oh. spines and a powerful bite, it's nearly impossible to shake it off before it completes its liquid transaction. The liquid horror transaction. comes from the legend of Kandiru being attracted to the chemicals in urine and swimming up the urethra of unlucky humans and oh. getting Stuck up there. A fate that takes oh. surgery to reverse. Oh. Imagine a serrated, sentient toothpick in your bathing no, suit. No, I wouldn't. No, 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 I don't wanna. Hey, when I was in the hospital once upon a time, they, they did the little thing where if you can't pee on your own, they put like a tube down there. Bro, I, I remember the pain of taking out the tube. I don't wanna remember any of fish the in there. Okay. Kills is so feared. How much of this is even real? Most of the reports Hopefully of not. people getting penetrated by peenfish are really sus peenfish. at best. Apparently, they're not even attracted to the ammonia in human urine in the first place. Oh. There's a good chance that the candy well, good, controversy still, came from it. European settlers coming home from long expeditions and telling these long, exaggerated stories to anyone who'd listen for status and attention. Yeah, but basically, they were probably lying for clout. You have to remember, the whole piranha skinning a cow there. spawned from locals staging an event Is he still lying there here at the book? Press the president. The truth is, your chances of peeing in the Amazon and getting frontal probed by a fish are about as much as you getting meal prepped by a shark or getting struck by lightning. Pain. Oh my bad. And getting struck by lightning. Damn. That being said, I'd rather get tag teamed by the pets of Poseidon oh. and the forces of Zeus than have a blood luster up my urethra. Yes, Franklin. absolutely. If the odds ain't zero, they're just too high for me. But I'll happily take a Kandiru to the Mandiru, <laughs> then run into Aquatic Op number four. In fact, I'm oh, so yeah. afraid of it, I actually had to break my own rule for this video. Huh? The Humboldt Squid obviously isn't a fish, oh? but it's the closest Bolt thing to squid. a living nightmare on this list. Let's be clear, at it's five bad. feet, about 100 pounds, oh, there are bigger squid. What sets Humboldts apart is they can hunt in packs Aggressive. of over oh. a thousand. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> that's three zero. Hey, brother, that's not a pack. That's a fucking army. It was like a Tony oh, Snell stat line. Nicknamed <laughs> Diablo Rojo, there are old fishermen tales zero. of men falling overboard, getting swarmed, and never coming back up. There's also stories of them curiously approaching divers before flipping and trying to rip their Wait, masks off. What's that guy off. doing to it? But who needs stories when marine biologist Alex Kerstich can tell you about the time Kerstich. several homicidal squids grabbed him and attempted to drag him down into the dark maw of the abyss. Shit. It gets worse when you realize what exactly happens when a red devil decides to take you to hell. What Humboldts does? aren't just highly intelligent, they're covered in tiny red chromatophores that they can use to rapidly change color in order to communicate with each other. It's like... Oh. More most squids have that, don't they? Don't they also have like uh, spikes on their like tentacle shit? Code, but for Crippin' Calamari. We don't know exactly what it means, but there's a good chance if a humble confronts you and starts violently flashing red, it you're could done. be telling a bunch of others you red can't light, see brother. that you're free eats. So likely the last thing you'll see is pulsing red, 
before you get eaten alive. Why is he playing with it? Why is he fingering it? Cephalopods are known for speed Jesus. eating and are notorious for stripping fish to the bones faster than fishermen can reel them. Add a beak that can easily slice flesh and a bite force that can reportedly crack bone. Why am I, I think looking at I'm not exactly what that? I say. I'll deal with every other fish on this list than a pack of predatory. I don't want to deal with any fish on this list, god damn it. Coordinating squid. I don't want to deal with fish. What logic said. Fuck There's it, no doubt action. in my mind this squid would eat a human if they thought they could. Why? Humboldt squid only live about a year. That rapid growth in a short time uh -huh. means they'll rarely pass up an easy meal, even if it's their own They're kind. Aggressive. Humboldts are highly cannibalistic, and they will not oh hesitate to turn on a weak or injured a bigger one? their own hunting Oh, come party. on. There was, Dude, a there was a bigger one fighting it, that would have been like the old cartoons. <laughs> and they found that out of over 2,000 squid, more than half held the remains of their own kind in their stomachs. Damn. It sounds to me that anything they see as weaker than them is That's something fucked. they can feed off, and the only saving grace for us is they usually only press things smaller than they are. Good. You don't even have to be seen as food for affiliated squids to be a problem. Like a true xenophobic, they react to most things they don't understand with aggression. And That's they've even attacked cameras hat. and equipment and left them out of order. But to me, the most disturbing aspect of getting assaulted by squids is, even if you escape, if you panic and surface too fast, you can get the bends and past tense anyway. That type of psychological horror is what hmm? puts the Humboldt here, and wouldn't you know, oh, that's emotional too deep, right? damage is another symptom of finding out about the, the next fish. Because your air, something bubbles and you die. But that's feel like real, real, real deep. Because now we got the stonefish. Um, not one of, but dangerous the most venomous people. fish known to oh, man. It's okay. Oh yeah, we, we heard about this one, right? Because it acts like shit and you fucking sting it and it fucks your ass up. Yeah, I think we know about this one. Crippling pain, shock, tissue death, and even paralysis. Bro, look at how and big that thing pain, is though. You can be in agony for over Australia? 12 hours. And it's enough of an eternal right? jihad to cause hallucinations. There's no jihad. Anecdotally, <laughs> there have been tourists who've stepped on a stonefish only to beg their doctors to chop off the whole foot. Damn. Then there's the added threat of, if you don't get out of the water quick enough, it won't even be the venom. You can get paralyzed and catch a stage fatality to drowning. Even if you survive, you can still suffer permanent nerve damage and severe. It's one ugly bastard, though, isn't it? Fear muscle atrophy. Fuck but that. that all wouldn't even be that bad if the stonefish wasn't nature's manifestation of a dick move. The most venomous animals on the planet usually dress with bright colors to warn yes, the rest of the population them. that they're packed. So you see them stonefish and you're like, Fuck decided that. to do exactly none of that. And instead cosplays as a stone. Bro, why are you touching it? Why are you touching the devil, brother? Lena mortally punish you ah. for his camouflage working. Like I said, it's like having invisibility, but also serving a death that. penalty every time someone steps on your foot. Then you gotta add the fact that there are another fish that can survive 24 hours out of the water, and they have a literal switchblade growing out of their forehead. I mean, the real question is how long does their venom poison thing survive out of the water? Is it like, it dies, but it's still there for like three weeks after that shit? Because if yeah, it I is, knew there were a problem ever since one nature, why? After Nigel Thornberry. A stone cloaking toxic minefield of misery, but with stonefish antivenom being the second most emitted in Australia, monster. today if you get stung, and your chances Australia, of surviving of are actually pretty good. Not like the next fish, because for this one, okay. there is no- Brother, that is an Eldarin monster. What the fuck is that? It's a face! Oh, antidote. The stonefish might be the most venomous why, fish, why but the puffer clap? fish is arguably the most poisonous. Why did he try to finger its mouth? What is wrong with this? Thing it? alive. <laughs> Quick rule of thumb on the difference: if it bites you and you no. die, it's venomous. If you bite it and you become a was, it's poisonous. Ah. And few things are more poisonous than puffer tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times more of a death sentence than cyanide. Tetrodotoxin interferes with signals Tetra between detoxin. nerves and muscles, causing muscle paralysis and a total shutdown. Damn. And of course, the fugu blowfish. Oh yeah, I know about this. But listen, this is easy. Just don't eat fish. I don't eat fish. Fuck fish. It's considered a delicacy. But if the chef misses a single cut, even by a little, you're instantly on the clock. <laughs> you won't know that happened until your face goes numb and your lips and tongue get this weird prickling Damn. feeling. <laughs> Then you'd suddenly get a splitting headache oh, and, like a blow job machine right there. and diarrhea as your body desperately tries to purge the poison. But it's already too late and you'd start getting paralyzed, starting with the hands and feet, but slowly spreading out. And by this point, you likely can't even call for help. Damn. Finally, it'd get harder and harder to breathe until you notice the room slowly fade to black, leading to either a coma, seizure, or just death. I mean, permanent kind. Listen, he's right. But at the same time, you just decided that you're going to try and eat the most poisonous fish in the entire universe. Okay? By a lot. So, uh, if you die, is it really somebody else's fault or are you just dumbass shit?
like a rock. That yeah, rockfish probably has more brain in the rock face of it than you at this point. Like, no offense. The toxin dumb. essentially flips a You're kill switch hell, in your boy. body, and there is no antidote. The only treatment is hooking you oh. up to a respirator to breathe for you and praying it passes. The poison Are they pumping that dude? such a problem. Bro, don't. It makes you forget they also have teeth that can bite <laughs> clean through your finger. Stupid. In fact, it's more than enough. Yeah, they got insane bite force. To violate a scorpion. And I don't even know how to describe what they do to crabs. Turning crustacean into crustacean with a smile, no less, Damn. is criminal. There's nothing funny about getting caught in that bite, oh, with reports nah. of pufferfish mutilating the genitals of men. In one case in 2008, where a Cambodian child what? had his a coin purse sliced in half by a pufferfish. And unlike the Kanduru, this ain't a myth. Have your privates what? out by a puffer and you might... No. Just get oh, another oh. reason. So that's six not going your sinister ocean. seven. Oh. But before we get to oh the last one, we got honorable mentions. Hey, the fact that currently my dick went inside. Like it's hidden completely. Unfortunately, both can the do fish action. that weaponize electricity enough to decommission a oh, cannon, deal. And we just accept that is kind of crazy. I don't think they're that scary is, It might not even be the right? voltage, but it's getting knocked out in shallow water that'll get you. Swordfish are one of the fastest things in oh. the sea. They also have a built-in melee weapon equipped, capable of inflicting <laughs> life-altering harm. Yeah. In 2015, a, a Hawaiian damn. man was fatally struck in the chest while trying to catch one. Another yeah. man in Malaysia... Okay. I mean, that's like straight... Hey, I got struck by a car trying to catch one. Why are you trying to catch one, brother? Stay away. It's a swordfish. It's got a weapon. What are you, a sword man? Nah, nah. Went to death you are a dead, swordfish man. heated itself out of That's the water and also RNG'd him in the chest. Damn. Swordfish are also on record shanking sharks and even bleeding out sea turtles. Huh. The sheep's head fish. Ugh. Really only because How many of that did you need? be damned. The Titan Trigger Fish is a highly I aggressive honey trigger. badger with gills. Ew, that dude was ugly. If I was that ugly, I'd be hyper aggressive as well. Capable of dishing out damn. severe injuries Ew, with the same teeth homie. they use for crunching coral, sea urchins, and even a crown of thorns starfish. The trigger might as well be named <laughs> after their temper, and this foot and a half vibe check is a big reason why beginner divers never go back in the water. Speaking of big, the Goliath Grouper. Goliath At 8 grouper. feet up to 800 pounds, Rookie? the fish the size of a small car feels Yoink. more like a leftover Jurassic prop. Lucky for us, most divers describe it as a gentle giant with the temperament of a St. Bernard. Although a St. Bernard didn't allegedly swallow an entire kid in the Florida Keys. Allegedly. Allegedly? Since we're on the subject, the last fish on this Bruh. list... And those were not even the seven deadly fish? What is the seven deadliest fish? Catfish. And really? Yeah, it's kind I mean, of cheating. Okay. Listen, I know catfish can get very big, but... They're kind of aggressive as well. But don't people usually catch them by throwing their hand and they bite them and they pull them? How Over 3,000 species of catfish, even including the genital jihad, the Kandiru. Genital catfish jihad. are like the trash compactors of the fish family, which isn't a problem. Damn. Until you see just how big they can really yeah, can get. Once a catfish gets big enough, there aren't a lot of things alive they won't try to eat. We've seen armadillos, what? turtles, and even Okay, that's the armadillo's fault. What are you doing in the water, brother? You're not in the water. You're not a fish. What are you doing in the water? Their seagulls get forward by a catfish. They probably There's deserve a species it. Seagulls in France are assholes. figured out how to stalk and hunt bathing city pigeons. Another they learned to wait by it. cave entrances to suck up any exhausted bats that fall in. Bats? There's even a catfish nicknamed Kuno the Killer who terrorized what? a German lake and somehow caught German products. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> ate someone's dog. Basically, they're all the shit I talked about pelicans being. Okay, listen, if a fish ate my die, I'm going John Wick on that fucking ocean. I'm killing all them fish. Fuck the fucking environment. You know, at this point, eh? Just we all gonna die. Food. The question Make is, have fish has ever eaten a live human? And it isn't even if they would, but if they could. The Wells yes, catfish can grow to 10 feet long yeah, and cap out at 300 pounds. Not the Macomb human, catfish like can also get to 10 feet, and the heaviest one ever recorded was pushing 650 pounds. God, if damn. there's a catfish that could stomach a human, it should be one of these, but there's a slightly smaller catfish that was believed to be a legit man-eater. In the Why? late 90s and early 2000s, a series of fatal attacks on people in the Gully River had people convinced Gully? there was something in the Gully? water hunting humans. In these attacks, victims were suddenly pulled underwater in front of people, only for their bodies to never be recovered. In 2007, Atal Kumar was swimming with friends when he was violently dragged underwater, and while he was never seen again, friends caught a glimpse of something, something that they could only describe as an elongated pig. Crocs and bull sharks were considered- <laughs> What? An elongated pig? The prime suspect ended up being the Goonch. At about over goonch? six feet, 200 pounds, the goonch is usually smaller than the whales. I mean, that's big, brother. That probably has crazy strength. If it bit your foot, you probably can't do much about it, especially in the water. We suck in the water. We're not fish. So the Mekong. 
but it's feared that the practice of burning fuel pirates by the river led to the equal opportunists developing a taste for human flesh. Jesus. And while it's a stretch to say a corpse-happy catfish could swallow an adult, it becomes a little less believable with children. There's no solid proof of a catfish yeah, catching probably. a person, but they for sure can off one. The biggest Absolutely. ones can easily overpower you, if not just knock you out and drown you. Not to mention, a I think they also hit with their tails. I think I've seen a video of them killing people with their tails. Are venomous, with those spots what? putting both experienced fishermen and oblivious bystanders in the hospital. They also have a nasty sandpaper-like bite that can easily draw blood. But what really makes them a living horror movie? is their intelligence. The ones packing up pigeons, they weren't always doing that, but they pretty much ate everything else around them and were forced to adjust. So it's anyone's guess what could happen if they gain a taste Fucking for hell. humans. And with catfish being swimming tongues with over 175,000 taste buds across their bodies, God damn, yeah, I doubt them. acquiring taste takes long. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you drink water. Also, another thing I've heard about catfish is that they usually don't care like about toxic pores and shit like that, so they're like bacteria incarnated they're awful things hug your mother try not to get catfished out here if you'd like to see me swim with slightly less freaky fish the full uh, gopro geez. footage of me in hawaii will be uploaded to my patreon in hawaii and with that nice. last second self promo out the way i'ma see y'all in the next one see your brother what is that oh it's cute is he gonna bite his face off he's blowing her bubbles mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Okay, I thought I was gonna buy his face off. It didn't happen, but maybe next time, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let me know if y'all enjoyed this. Uh, if we should check out any other videos of his, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, I'll be streaming today, so join us today. Say hi, and bye-bye.